You must rise, Brinson, and seize the day. Is that so? Is that so? I have, to, I have to do that now, is it? Now is the time to do it? Like, right this minute is the time to seize the day. Go back into your burrow. Ah, uh, yes, I shall. A good day. Okay, so um, we're awake now, and I uh, hope you guys are all doing well out there. So, um, let's continue on with this day, and I'll explain to you in just a minute what exactly it is that we're doing today, so rise and shine. <laughs> My son's birthday in two days. That's why all of this is happening. So we need to get this stuff organized back here. I only have to keep it on board for one more night. He's getting everything tomorrow. Woohoo! Okay. So it's a chipper 36 degrees right now, which is pretty cold, but it wasn't too much of a problem to sleep in. Um, but when you get outside, I realize that there's a bit of wind. Anytime that there's wind, and it's 30 degrees or less, it feels like it's down below 10 degrees if there's wind. So um, we're just gonna have to deal with that, right? Just gonna have to deal with it. Here's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna do three goals, all right? So I'm gonna say them out loud instead of writing them down. Uh, the first goal, $200 or more today, okay? It's Friday, we should be able to do that. Okay, the second goal is going to be, I need to stop at some point during the day to get my son a massive balloon okay for his birthday that's gonna happen and then the third goal today we all know what that is folks it's no boozing all right every day that's one of my goals and we're not gonna be boozing today are we no we're not let's go to the gym
a hundred times better. All right, hundred times better. Whoa, I thought that was a massive zebra behind me. So I've decided to add another element to this video that I think you might be interested in. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of interested in it myself. But before I explain, let me get into the Christmas spirit. Whew, perfect. All right, so got my uh, elf hat on here and we're gonna go out and do my deliveries in this hat. That is right. So let me explain what we're gonna do today. All right, so I'm gonna be giving you a profit and loss analysis at the end of the day. I'm gonna be pretty much telling you how much it takes for me to run my business, right? And I know some of you out there are like, Brent, what are you talking about run your business? You're a DoorDash driver. That's true, okay? But I do treat it like a business. Even though I'm on the lower um, end of the spectrum as it pertains to running a business, I still need to keep track of my ins and my outs, and I need to know where I stand so that I'm not like, driving into the dark. So here's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be keeping track of my miles. So I'll take note of my miles now. And at the end of the day, I'm also going to be uh, keeping track of my gas. So I'll take note of where my gas is now. And then again, at the end of the day, so that I can see how much money I spend on gas today. And also with the miles, I'll be able to get a figure for how much I can write off for taxes. And speaking of taxes, I'll share with you how much I put aside for taxes on a weekly, even down to a daily basis, all right? And then, um, yeah, time. I'm going to keep track of how much time I spend working and how much of that is downtime um, because I've got some errands to run today as well and, you know, actually one errand, but I, st I gotta do some shit, all right? So I'm sitting here at Mickey D's I'm out here in Johnston, Rhode Island, and I'm gonna share with you this day as it comes. So, you ready? Let's get into it. Let's have a holly jolly gig day. You know what I hate most? I really hate wasting time. You know what I mean? Sitting down, doing nothing, when I know that I could be doing something. Like, I, there is an errand that I wanna run today, so I'm actually gonna head over uh, and bang that Aaron out now. I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna get this massive balloon for my son's birthday. Um, this is something I've been doing for a while and I don't know, it's just a laugh. Get that done because I'm close to the party city that I'm trying to go to and then I'll start my, my deliveries. But uh, we're still keeping track of our time. Dickory do and dickory duck. Don't forget to polish my clock. All right, we're here. Let's get a massive balloon. So I'm uh, looking forward to being able to spend the day with my son tomorrow. And we're gonna meet up with my sister and my nephew as well. We're gonna have some lunch. We're gonna play some mini golf. We're gonna chill for a bit, you know. His real birthday is actually on Sunday, so he'll be with his mom on Sunday. We kind of got to divvy it up. That's how it is for separated parents, but it works. All right, let's get this balloon. We got the goods. We got the goods. All right, I gotta sleep with this thing tonight though. That's the only thing. You gotta take up some of my space tonight. Ooh, better hold on to that sucker. Better hold on to it. Damn it, where's the carton arcs when you need them? All right, so this balloon's gonna be a factor today. I have an idea. It. Now it's actually held in place right behind my... So that's what the bungee cord is for, right there. I just clipped the balloon to the bungee, so now it'll stay there. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. It's 1137. You can't see that, can you? It's 1137. 
in the morning, obviously. And now we're gonna turn on the apps. And now that the errand is ran, okay? I ran the only errand I needed to run today. Now I can just really focus in on getting that money. All right, we're going for $200. Let's get into it. But before we do, I'm gonna drive by this Christmas tree here in this plaza so I can hit you with some Christmas vibes. All right, let's go. Here is the mileage on the vehicle, 207,872 miles. My baby's getting up there, but she's in great shape. And here is the gas, just over half a tank. And damn, I need to clean my dashboard. All right, we just got our first order of the day. $11.50 for 4.7 miles. A double pickup, Chipotle, then Applebee's. Let the day begin. All right, guys, you're going to have to pardon me as I go into gig mode here, so I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking, but I am going to do a whole lot of working, so let's get after it. I could have set my expectations low enough for this pizza. It's that bad. Gas station pizza. What do you expect, Brent? Come on. What I thought it would be at least like entry level shit. You know, this is fucking low. This is no level shit. It was only a dollar though, so.
did this drop off to this young lady. $20 tip right there. Appreciate that so much. going to officially stop the clock right here at 8.06, 8.06 p.m. All right, so we're off the clock, um, but we're we're going to wait until we get to camp uh, before we tally up the mileage and look at the gas because I want to factor that in the ride home. So uh, let's see how close the nearest Walmart is. All right, closest Walmart to here is 20 minutes from here, 10 miles. So let's go. Okay, here we are. I've slept at this Walmart many a time. It's in my top three. So let's just find a spot. I'm just going to go right here, right next to this guy. All right, let's take note of the miles, 207.991. And the gas is a quarter tank. Okay, so I've got some organizing to do because I got tons of shit back here. So how about we just use some magic instead, some elf magic. You know how this goes. Whew, awesome. We're back in the red light lounge. So listen, I'm gonna have to record this portion of the video quite quickly because I'm running out of space on my phone. I'm recording everything on my phone. So here we go. I'm gonna throw these numbers at you real quick. You can go back and pause and do whatever you want to make sense to you, but this all makes sense to me. So let's go at it. All right, first let's start with how much we pulled in, all right? So with DoorDash, we pulled in $75.50. With Grubhub, we pulled in $96.02. Uber Eats, we pulled in $19.67, and we had a cash tip of $20. Thank you, young lady, whoever you are, specialness. All right, so that's a total of $211.19. But Bryn, how many hours did you work today? Okay, so we clocked in at 11.37 a.m. We clocked out at 8.06 p.m. That's a total of eight and a half hours, okay? So my gross hourly was $24.84 per hour. Also, one more thing, this is like OCD kicking in, but I lost track of my, you know, I was trying to track active hours versus overall hours, and I lost track of my active hours. So it doesn't even, like, there's no point in doing that really because like you have to factor in all of your hours, whether you're working or not, because you're giving your time to the job. So um, eight and a half hours all in, and um, whether I was sitting down reading, or whether I was doing a delivery. It's all in, eight and a half hours. But wait, there is expenses. Let's go over the expenses real quick. All right, so let's start with the mileage. We started the mileage at 207,872 miles. Uh, then we ended the day with 207,991 miles for a total of 119 miles, okay? And the standard mileage rate in Rhode Island right now is 62 cents per mile. So that is a tax write-off of $73.78. Terrific. All right, so we burned through about uh, a little over a quarter tank of gas. So I'm gonna call that $20 for gas. I'm gonna set aside $7.14 for taxes. And that's based off of the math um, because I put I put away $50 every single week for taxes. So divided by seven, that's $7.14 per day, right? 
Um, and then for maintenance, I'm gonna set aside $14.28 for maintenance and repairs. And that's based off of the math that I put $100 a week away for maintenance and repairs. So the total expenses for today uh, is $41.42, okay? Which, which leaves me with a net of, uh, it goes down from $211.19 down to $169.77, which is a net hourly of $19.97 per hour. You get me? Okay. So that about covers it, guys. All right. And that's how I pretty much figure out uh, my ins and outs of my business. This is going to run out of footage real soon. So I have to end this. Um, sorry if it was all over the place, but you know, I did what I could today. That's the end of the day. Uh, I'm here in Walmart. I'm going to set up camp and well, I'm already set up, but I'm going to go to sleep because I got another busy day tomorrow. We're going to be celebrating my son's birthday and I just need to go to sleep and get some rest. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy.